Now the next set of upgrades, once I have everything disabled again, so I can enter safely, is after I have a bit more stuff to work with, I will get a trash can from Extra Utilities, an item conduct, <coughs> eight void upgrades, eight basic drawers, a drawer controller, and a key. And we're going to set this thing up so it collects all the loot and organizes it. So I'll take out the block that's under the redstone conductive block, or the block that's under the mob masher, and then all these ones across the base. I'll get this out of the road so you can see a little better. I will stick the drawer controller here. A small storage crate here. I will usually mine out the floor. One block there, and a block there. I'll put a trash can here. and the item conduit to connect them all together. And then I'll place the absorption hopper here. Now the way you want to have this set up is extract to be always on. Have this go to insert with priority five. Have the drawer controller be on insert with a priority 10. And the trash can with an insert of priority zero. The higher the priority, the it will be tried first. So we'll go to the drawer controller, then to the sto small storage crate. If the small storage crate is full, it will be thrown out. If you're leaving a mob grinder going overnight, especially when it's fully upgraded, it can very rapidly fill up the chest with useless armors, and then the entire chamber will be completely full of random junk loot which can majorly slow down your server. So I'll set up the drawers. I can now take out this block. I will give all of the drawers void upgrades, so if they're full, they'll still suck up the item, but delete the excess, because you never really need more than eight stacks. If you feel you do, in addition to the void upgrade, also give them storage upgrades. I can also pop the witch water back in, so I'll start getting withers. And after you get this going, it will start filling up all of your stuff. If you go with a key, you can lock all these so they won't fill automatically until you put in what item you want where. Now the other set of upgrades that you can do further down the line once you have um, pretty much infinite resources due to mystical agricultures, chickens, what have you, is mob masher upgrades. Uh, the sharpness stack of upgrades, you can give it up to 10, will make it so they kill mobs faster. Uh, the looting upgrade will give you way more loot, and the beheading upgrade will give you way more skulls which when you're going for wither skulls, this thing will crank out wither skulls pretty quick. So you simply dump those into the mob masher. And when you seal this up and turn everything back on,
You'll see I already have a wither skeleton there. Which I will disable my magnet. This thing's making it so I'm sucking up the loot faster than the absorption hopper can. But as loot gets found, you can arrange it however you like in these slots. And then instead of going into here, they will start filling these up. But this is pretty much what it looks like fully upgraded. Pretty much as soon as anything spawns, it instantly gets killed. Because it has looting fire, er, looting 10 and beheading 10 on it, you get way more loot than you ever would normally. And then I have everything set up such that everything gets sorted any excess goes into the chest any excess beyond the chest would instantly get deleted so for a while when you first get the thing built you probably will need to babysit a little bit to get it organized <coughs> But after all of the normal loot is in spots, this thing will slowly start filling up with armor. Once the thing's full of armor, all the extra armor will get deleted in the trash can back there. And that's all the more there is to it. Every once in a while, you'll if anyone has any advice on how to make this even better, please drop said advice in the comments. And have a great day. Have a good one.